This is Solid Snake. Metal Gear Survive. Now I know a lot of people are on the fence about this game. Due to the fact that Hideo Kojima, my creator, is not in the game. But I want you guys to keep an open mind. The last time I played this game, I had lots of fun. It definitely feels very responsive. Just like VR training. I will now attempt to kill this zombie infected with fox dye. I have a spear, so I'm going to keep my distance. Ah! It's coming for me. Got it. Colonel, where is the digger located? The digger is located. 130 feet feet from you, 30 meters. Proceed forward. Remember, Snake, press the circle button to get down and avoid enemies. Keep your distance. Copy. Snake out. Ah! Ah! The spear is a great weapon in order to evade enemies. The spear definitely reaches further than their arms. The goal of the game is to get to these digger sites and protect the waves of enemies. It's kind of like a tower defense game because the digger itself has multiple defense mechanisms that help you in completing the mission. It seems like the spear is one of the best weapons simply because it has more range than the machete. Three minutes until the digging automatically starts. But if I go there now, I believe I'm able to start the digging myself. Before, I didn't know how to use the Molotov cocktails. That problem has been resolved. Got him. In two hits. I see more enemies. Ah! Where's the last remaining enemy? I know I saw him a second ago. There he is. Can I hit him through the glass? That is epic! How many zombie games are this diverse with gameplay this responsive? I'm definitely impressed. Here's another one. Seems like he appeared out of nowhere. I have not been hit once by these zombies infected with fox dye. You can craft and pick up items. A lot of people are comparing it to Fortnite, which is an interesting comparison because Fortnite is one of the hottest games out right now. So let's just call this Metal Gear Fortnite. I really wonder if there's a Metal Gear in this game. I won't be surprised if there's some kind of Metal Gear challenge. And I really wonder what the story mode is going to be like. We can craft weapons here. But I don't have much supplies. I didn't pick up anything. Now we will start the digger. It seems like we are ready for any invading hordes of zombies. And as I said, this is kind of like a tower defense game where the digger will actually explode and kill any enemies that are nearby. I'm ready. I'm looking at the map. They seem to be coming from this direction. Can't let my guard down. At least now I know how to use the uh, Molotov cocktails. And also, the first person works great just like in previous Metal Gear games. The game is very responsive. If you're a fan of the Fox engine, I highly suggest you check this out. The digger is officially activated. You can switch sides, all very responsive. I don't have any ammo for my gun. So it looks like I'm going to have to stick to the spear. As well as the Molotov cocktails. 
All right, I have infinite amounts of this. What is this? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a bomb. Doesn't appear so. He's coming for me. Must use my CQC. First zombie is down. What is this? For changing equipment. I don't have any ammo. I see a horde coming. It's time to use the Molotov cocktails. Burn, zombies, burn! No! Nice. More cocktails. I don't have that many. I'm waiting for the, the digger to kick in its natural defense. I killed two zombies with that strike. Cocktail. There you go. That was the digger that activated that explosion. As I said in my previous video, I'm really enjoying time with the game. If you're a fan of zombie games or waves, zombies in Call of Duty, I highly suggest you check this game out. There's something here for everybody, except probably hardcore Metal Gear fans. Wave one is finished. Now they give you some time until the next wave to get some supplies. I'm not sure what I should do. There's a side mission that activates. You don't have to do it, but it's a good time killer until the next digging, the next wave. And it's also an opportunity to get some items. Oh, shh. This thing scared me in the last video. I can't believe I fell for it again. One of my complaints in the last video was that you can't heal yourself while traveling. You have to stay stationary in order to heal. Why hasn't this berserker zombie died? Wanderer. Thought it said berserker. My eyesight is too good. Don't have my solid eye. And I died. I consumed the revival pill. You only get a certain amount. Oh my goodness. Why are these wanderers stronger than the last? Is it, is it because they're protecting the ammo? All right, we got to the ammo. Is there any more ammo here? Just a bunch of supplies. Did I get any ammo for my gun? I did not. I'm sure someone that had more extensive time with the game knows how to put the ammo inside, but right now I'm keeping it simple. Oh, we got an ammo container. I spoke it into existence. A respirator. Or we could switch items and access our garage. Now, I'm very curious. I'm guessing you're able to build forts and stuff. But how? Wormhole generator. Not sure what it was, but I'm gonna use it again near this entrance. Looks like a claymore. And it seems like I'm only able to place one at a time. All right. Am I bleeding right now? Yes, I am. So this is what I was talking about. It seems like the only way to treat yourself and cure the bleeding is in the menu. And here comes the digger. It's about to start again. The enemy types change with each wave, as you would expect. I would imagine if I had a sniper, I could position myself up there. And I haven't figured out how to play with other people. I'm not sure if this beta 
is only allowing single player or I'm confused in the, in the menus. Here comes the bomber. I want nothing to do with him. There's another one coming from that direction and another one from this direction. I'm not so sure how a spear is gonna do against the bomber, but I'm gonna have to try. I'm holding R2 to charge it up. Here we go. Oh my goodness, that's not gonna work. I need to switch to my pistol. It's not doing much damage. I'll only waste my ammo. All right, so let me strike and back up. It's blowing up. Get down. And now we have more. Jesus. They're blowing themselves up at the digger. Throwing cocktails to try to back up. All right, time for my pistol. I'm not gonna last long. This is Metal Gear Survive. I definitely need more help. Wow, this game is very intense. Now, after the game is over, the digger calculates how many ener how much energy it stored up. And you're given your final score. This is Snake. Thanks for watching this video. I'm very interested in picking up this game. It has me curious. Metal Gear Fortnite with zombies. What can go wrong? Let's check the reward list. TNT. Nice. More. Nice. Cuban energy. Reminds me of Guantanamo Bay and the Ground Zero's briefing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.